guys say hi? Hi! Say hi! hi. We're still, still on a, a little bit of a Christmas high here. Um, anyway, this is holiday. Quick. Okay, can you run, can you run quietly? Run quietly. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are getting it going. <laughs> Just getting set up here. Yes, can you guys say hi to everybody? Hi. Yeah, it's a little crazy over here after the holidays. Yes, you can tell me something. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's holiday hit. We are going to do a holiday themed workout. That is why I am dressed up. And we are going to use body weight. If you have dumbbells or kettlebells or both, there will be some places to move them. Otherwise, just grab whatever you've got and just move your body with us. So holiday hit, we'll get cardio, we'll get strength. We will have a good time. Guys, can you say hi? Who did I tell you might be watching? Hi. Say hi, Doc and G Mama. <laughs> and Bubba and Kathy, that's their grandparents and aunt and uncle. Okay, all right. <laughs> anyway, I don't know about your house, but it's been crazy over here since Santa came yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to get going. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Okay, we're going to get going here. All right, can you guys say bye and go with Daddy? Bye. Okay, go with Daddy. One bye. Go with Daddy, okay? All right, I'll see you after. Bye. 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 Whoo, I don't know about your house, but it has been nonstop energy. We thought we'd have this, this like quiet Christmas because it was just us. We didn't travel. We were just here, but somehow it was surprisingly loud. I'm sure all of you guys with toddlers especially can relate. <laughs> anyway, all right, now that it's just us, holiday hit. We are going to go about 35 minutes. Um, we will do some circuits. We will have some themed exercises. I will, of course, give you lots of option options. For different fitness levels, modify if you need to. There's no shame in modifying. And within that, I will include options for if you are pregnant or early postpartum, just getting back to exercise, or if you think or know that you have ab separation and you're still working on healing that. I will give you those options. Most of that will be that last circuit, which will be down on the mat. But of course, work to your level. Be where you are today. You know what I always say, you showed up today, you are successful. That is all that matters. So thank you for showing up, especially on a holiday weekend to move with me. All right, so holiday hit. If you got some weights, whew, you clean up a little around here. If you got some weights, make sure that they're close by uh, dumbbells or kettlebells. Otherwise, we are just going to start just getting moving with a quick little warm up. Make sure you have water as well. All right, here we go. So go ahead, just start marching it out. We'll get that timer going in just a minute. Whew, you can march, you can jog, whatever works for you. Roll those shoulders to the back and to the front. And of course, with all of my live workouts, I take a few minutes at the end to say hi. I would love to say hi and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to all of you. Big deep breath in. And if you have any questions, you can ask them at the end. But I would ask if you can, wait until the end so I make sure I see them. I'll have my computer roll through your back, but I'll be scrolling through. So save your questions till the end and we will talk for a few minutes after the workout. Ooh. Getting warm here, take it here. Roll through those shoulders, pressing out gently on the inside of the legs. And breathe. And walk your feet in, round it up. Tap out, reach across your body, big stretch across. And take it over. I feel like I need some Christmas music, but I didn't get it together in time, so feel free to play some if you want on your own. Let's bring those hamstrings up to the back. We've been listening to Christmas 
songs nonstop in my house. And if it's anything like last year, we'll listen to them for all of January too, because that's what my kids love. Knees up, just bring them in. So holiday hit, so it is the hit format, just in the sense that we're gonna be working at intervals, getting your heart rate up, bringing it back down. Little stretches here. The way it is gonna work today is we will have four moves per circuit. We will have a lower body-ish, some of them will be compound movements, and upper body-ish, <laughs> again, some will be compound movements. Go ahead and step touch it here, and then you'll have a core, and then we will have a cardio. So usually that lower body and that cardio will be our sort of high intensity intervals. We will go through the first round where we will get, let's take it out nice and wide, just step into those side lunges, just lean into them here or step, reach here. First round, 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest. You get a little breather while I will explain the next move. And then our second round, we will get 45 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest. Then you get a full one minute breather where I will talk you through your next circuit. After those two rounds of that circuit, then we'll move on. Three circuits is all we got, guys. First two are up top, and then we are taking it down to the mat. All right, so I want you to jog it out or march it out, whatever you got, just keep moving. Watch me for your first circuit. And again, these are all a little bit themed just for you. So with a dumbbell or a kettlebell, doesn't matter which, your very first move is gonna be called tree topper. Sit as low as you can into the squat. Reach it up as if you're putting that angel or the star on the tree, right? Dumbbell or kettlebell, doesn't matter. Sit and up. If you don't have either, just grab something heavy. Keep it close to your body. And then as we press, it's a little bit of a reach, but watch that core. So we're gonna start with that. Go ahead and grab dumbbell or kettlebell right in the center. Core is in tight. Are we ready? Here we go. Sit low and up. So this should get your heart pumping pretty quickly, I think. Reach it over, down and up. If you got that kettlebell, looks exactly the same. You're just holding it here, right? In and up, low, high. I think a lot of you guys saw that Christmas commercial that we all cried about, right? With the grandpa and the kettlebell training. If you have it, look it up. Whoo, it was a tearjerker. Five seconds. The synopsis is that he was training with this move. Good, relax, to be able to lift his grandma, his uh, kid up to the tree. I just spoiled it for you, sorry. All right, grab two dumbbells or one kettlebell. We're doing dashing through the row. Watch me here, you're gonna step, row, and back, step, Row, if you got the kettlebell, we're gonna switch between the two. Ready, here we go. Little step out, hinge, row, step in. Step out, hinge, row, and in. So it's not a squat, think of it more as a hinge, but I just want you to get low, bring those elbows up. If you've got that kettlebell, just switch between the two. So step, row, center, step, row. Flat back down. If you wanna just keep it stationary and just hinge in between, that works too. It's totally up to you. You got five seconds. And breathe. Three, two, one. All right, guys, one dumbbell. We're going half and half, 20 seconds each. Snow shovel, also known as a wood chop. I guess wood chop works too for holiday themed, but turn towards your hip over your shoulder. You can keep it close. You can keep it wide, ready, one side for 20, here we go. Hip to shoulder, watch my knees and hips, we're turning our full body, full body rotation. If you wanna take the arms out wide, you can. If you got a heavier kettlebell or weight, you can keep it in close or switch to something lighter. Five seconds this side, breathe. Yes, switch sides, here we go. Hip to shoulder. We're all the way up. So a lot of you guys have had snow recently and have messaged me 
letting me know that you felt really strong with that snow shoveling because of all your strength training. Last one, relax. That makes me so happy. All right, guys, that was our core. Now our cardio. So it's a star jack. You have a few options. You can just do low impact here, big arms, or here. Whew, that's a lot for 40 seconds. So here's one more option. You can go one jack, one star. Join me. Here we go. So any of those options, all low impact. Whew, who's feeling that hit training, right? Or all star jacks, or one jack, one star. Whew, I'm gonna say low impact, guys. Ha, huh, so I can talk, right? Breathe. All right, y'all, mix it up. 10 seconds. I know this one is gonna really get you. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. All right, catch your breath. We're doing it all again. You can do it. Holiday hit, that's what it is. Kettlebell or dumbbell, starting with that tree topper. We're gonna get low, squat it down, press it. Remember, you got 45 seconds this time. We just gotta get through four moves. Here we go. Sit low and press. Sit low and top of the tree. Core's engaged, because we're pressing out a little bit in front of our body. So really pull it in here. Woo! Heart rate, right? High intensity interval training. <sighs> Holiday hit is catchy. It's what I named the free program I just did. I'm gonna talk about that and what's coming up in January at the end of this workout. Woo! You got 10 seconds. Remember, we're going a little bit longer. Can you get a little lower? On those squats, yes, last one, relax, Whew. all right team, dashing through the row, I know, it's catchy, one or two dumbbells or one or two kettlebells, roll those shoulders back, step it out, here we go, step, row, bring it in, step and hinge, row, bring it in. So as we step, we're doing a little hinge, little deadlift. That's our dashing, right? Again, if you've got your one kettlebell, I want you to switch between the two. Step, row, and up. Flat back, elbow up, nice and strong. If you wanna just keep it stationary and not move in between, totally fine. The goal is the row, right? Four, three, oh, that was a little head. Two, one, relax, breathe. All right, we got our wood chop, our snow shovel. We're still going 20 seconds each. We're gonna keep it short. Whew. Activate the core. You got arms and legs too. Ready, here we go. One side, 20. You can keep it close to your body, hip to shoulder. Make sure you're doing a little pivot, picking up those feet. Or again, long arms, shovel that snow. Yes! I know a lot of you all on the East Coast had a white Christmas. I'm jealous. Last one. Switch your sides right here. Here we go. Other side. We had 70 degrees here in Los Angeles. I'm grateful, but I miss the snow. Whew. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, breathe, catch your breath. Oh, all right, guys, star jacks, last time you're doing them. I know they're nobody's favorite. All of those options, you can keep it low impact. You can do one jack, one star, or all with those stars. Get high, get wide, here we go. Star, Whew. or low impact. Just shoot the energy out of those hands, out of those feet. Either way, you're doing it. One jack, one star. Remember after this, you have a full one minute break. So really go hard, push yourself on this interval, even if you're going low impact. I want you to get 
quick with it if you can. Woo! Because we got that breather coming. Yes. Woo! Ah! Five seconds. Four, three, two. Breathe. You got a minute, guys. Catch your breath. Ha! Ah. Woo! How do we feel? One circuit down, two to go. That's all we got. Catch your breath, grab some water. You got a full minute, team. Whew. All right. Ah. So that's what we're looking at. One more circuit like that up top. We got four moves. We're gonna go through them twice. Whew. 40 seconds with 20 seconds rest. And then we got 45. All right, guys, so you keep moving if you want to tap it out for 30 more seconds. Watch me. Your first move, 20 seconds each side, is called a reindeer lunge. You can keep it stationary lunge, small or big. If you can, we're going to take off like a reindeer. Watch me. Low, push. Low, push. The idea, we're taking off to the sky. We're going to go 20 on the right, 20 on the left, little leg burn. Then we're gonna take it with a Christmas curl. We're making a C with it. Then we got a Yule Log Plank. It's coming. And then we got our Jingle Bell Swing. Are we ready? Set it up. Here we go. Regular lunge if you want. Just keep it simple. If you can, push off the front. Push off the front. Take off to the sky. Woo! Good thing I got my antlers on. Just think, you're pulling that sleigh, so you gotta do big push. One more, yes, flip it around, here we go. Regular lunge if you want, or push off that front. My left is a little harder, there's one that's gonna feel a little trickier. Breathe, get that burn, take off. If you don't feel balanced with that, just keep it regular. Last one, good, right, here's your burn. All right, grab some dumbbells or kettlebells. If you got dumbbells, we're gonna make a big C to the back, to the front. If you got your kettlebell, watch me here. We're going curl to the side, to the side. Join me here. So either way, we just want a little bit of an angle with it. You got 40 seconds. You can let that heart rate come down while we work those arms. Again, if you got your dumbbells, you can make a little circle. Little C, right? Up and around, up and around, yes. Core is in tight. Breathe nice and slow. Five, four, three, two, and breathe, yes. Good work, team. All right, take it down into your core. It's a plank. We're gonna call it Yule Log. It doesn't move, right? So on those elbows, if you need to modify, my mamas, I want you to keep it here and I want you to take it out arm and leg. Arm and leg from here. Everybody else, if you can, join me here. We're just holding. The second round, we'll get a little bit of movement. We're gonna to try to hold 40 seconds. If you need a little breather in between, drop the knees and then bring it back up. Yule Log in the fire. Again, modification, quadruped. You're here to here. That's pretty hard in itself. But if you can, hold it here. 10 seconds to go. Lift up in the center. Zip up in that core. Pull everything in and gently up. Squeeze those legs. Squeeze those glutes. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Relax. Kettlebell or dumbbells. We're gonna do a jingle bell swing. If you got the dumbbells, you can do one, like a kettlebell swing, or two, like a skier swing, that works too. Or one kettlebell, try to go heavy if you can. We're gonna hike it, roll those shoulders back. Hike it three, two, power it up. Here we go. If you're not comfortable with the swing, if you've never done a swing before, watch me here. Just do your deadlift, little hinge. Just do your deadlift. Everybody else, here we go. Breathe. Pendulum, so you're using the power from your glutes, from your hamstrings, from that momentum. 
You're staying lower chest level or lower. We're not going over the chest or over the head. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Jingle bell swing, yes. Relax, whoo. All right, guys, let's do it all again. Set that kettlebell to the side. Reindeer lunge, we're still gonna keep it 20 seconds each side, but everything else will be 45 each. Set it up, regular lunge if you need. Here we go. Regular lunge, just stationary, or push off. Push off, you can do it. Power, yes! Woo! I know, it's a little bit of balance. You don't have to get super high with it, guys. Just get that foot off the ground. One more. Switch your sides. Here we go. Regular lunge, spine, or push off. Push off. I know, I'm getting high like a reindeer, but that's actually really hard to do. So keep it low. Just get that foot off the ground as if you're taking off into the sky. Three, two, one. Yes, burn. All right, Christmas curl. Dumbbells for two. Kettlebell for one. Whew, breathe. Whatever you got. I'm going to go kettlebell this time. Ah, catch your breath on this one. Here we go. Kettlebell to the side. Or two dumbbells. I'll show you that too. This is your lower intensity interval, so use this time to catch your breath. So we're making a C, out, C, in. Yes, Whew. good, strong arms, you got this. Ha, ah. keep it going. Whew. 10 seconds to go, breathe. Core's in tight. Zip it up. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, team. We are back to that Yule log. This time we're going to get a little fire going with it. So remember my mama's pre-post DR. I want you to stay here. Reach it out. That's going to be challenging. Everybody else, join me here. Yule log. Whew. Let's get a little fire going up. Little pike and down, little pike, and down. Make sure you're breathing, exhale, lift. <sighs> Imagine there's a string pulling your belly button up to the sky. If you need a little break, drop it down, come right back into it. We got 20 seconds. Little pike, back to your Yule log. Fire, Yule log. Whoo, breathe, yes. Good, modification, you're here, mamas. <sighs> Her mom is in that, in that stage. Five, four, three, two, breathe, stretch it out. Bring it up, guys, one more time. Jingle bell swing. Whoo, I'm gonna go with my heavy kettlebell, guys, because why not? Remember, you can hinge it with just a deadlift if you need to. Everybody else, hike it here. Dumbbells or two, our, our skier, bring it up or regular. Dumbbell can be one in the center or two on either side. Whoop, breathe. If you need a little break, because it's a long time to do a swing, if you got a super heavy one like me, <laughs> pedal it here, get a little stretch, and then set it up again. Here we go. I know a lot of you guys swing with super heavy all the time. I don't always in videos, but whoo. Kettlebell swing, it's actually easier with a heavier one. Three, two, one. Relax it down, easier in terms of getting your form. Oh, we did it, guys. Catch your breath, pedal those feet. How are we feeling it? Whew. All right, guys, let's grab a quick sip of water. Whew. Ah, how are we doing? We got one more round on the mat. I'm gonna give you some different options. So you catch your breath, tap it out side to side, watch me first. All right, so first, we got our polar bear plank press. So 
just a bare plank with a plank press. You can stay on the knees the whole time. I want anybody in that pregnant, early postpartum or DR phase to stay here, keep the core engaged, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. If you can, lift it up into that bare plank, polar bear plank, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. You can drop it in between, then bring it right back up, whatever you need. Go ahead and join me down here on your knees. If you need to modify, especially if you're PPDR, stay on the knees the whole time. Everybody else, here we go, lift them up. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Try to stay up the whole time if you can, but I know 40 seconds is a long time. So if you need to drop the knees in between, then bring them back up, then down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, little rest, and back. Each time you come up, lift in the center. And guys, remember that bare plank, your knees are directly beneath the hips. Sometimes we have a tendency to be here, bring them in here. We got five, down, down, up, up, Woo! and relax. Go ahead and turn over on your back, nice and slow. If you are my PPDR or anybody else who needs to modify, we're just gonna take a regular bridge as our modification, think about the core. Everybody else, if you can, snow angel, take those arms out wide, lift, join me here, in and out, make that snow angel. Again, try to, just like the polar bear plank, try to stay lifted the whole time, but if you need to come down in between to rest your back and then bring it up, whoo, you can bring it down in between. Whatever gives you the best form and is gonna keep you going. So again, I don't want you to stay up here the whole time if it means that your back is gonna hurt or you're gonna compensate. Bring it down, we got 10 seconds. <sighs> Breathe, eyes up, four, three, two, and relax. Awesome guys, just flip it right over. Now we got our reverse snow angel. So pre-post DR, we're gonna do bird dog, but take it at a diagonal. Out and out. Everybody else, take it all the way down. Reverse snow angel, or as my client David called it, the nutcracker, here to here. So if you're a guy, whew, it could be the nutcracker. Lifting up, so basically guys, you're lifting up in that Superman, but you're going out really wide with the arms and with the legs. So we really get that full range of motion all through the back of our body, lower back and core, Whew. or bird dog, whichever you're doing. We got 10 seconds, eyes looking down, but squeeze through the back. Five, four, three, two, breathe, stretch it back. All right, guys, last cardio move. Go tell it on the mountain climber. If you need to modify pre, post, DR, I want you to do it up top and here or here. Everybody else, take it down. It's just your mountain climber. You can tap it in or you can run it in. Here we go. So tap, tap, or run. Go tell it on the mountain climber. Whoo! It's your last move of this last circuit. Of course, we gotta go one more time. It does not matter if you're modified or again, Pre, post, DR, or anybody else, you can be up top. You can even reach those hands here. Whatever is better for you. Keep it going. 15 seconds, let's get that heart pumping before we do it all again. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, bring it up guys. One more time through. Woo. All right, here we go. We're, oh no, stay down. <laughs> Polar bear plank press, 45 seconds. Drop those knees or stay on the knees if you need to. Here we go. So down, down, up, up. You can stay on the knees the whole time or lift up those knees off the ground. Down, down, up, up, down, down. You either keep them off the ground or you can drop them in between, down, down, up, up. It's up to you. 
Guys, we got this. 20 seconds to go. I know, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. And remember to switch your lead arm if you can. So right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Ah, five seconds. Down, down, up, up, whoo. Down, down, up, up. Relax. Good. Take it on your side and on your back. We're into that snow angel for some core. Remember modification, especially my mama's pre-post and DR. I want you to take it with that bridge. Everybody else, lift it up. Here we go. In and out. Snow angel, just as if you were making a snow angel, but you're lifting your shoulders and you're lifting your legs. Again, if you need to drop it down in between, up and down, up and down, or keep it lifted, but tuck that chin. Eyes up, Whoo! breathe, knit that core together, zip it up, check in, make sure it's not pushing out. We're pulling in, you got it, and breathe, yes, 10 seconds, no, five, four, three, two, breathe, ha, ah, good, relax, take it over. How about reverse snow angel or nutcracker? Remember my modification, we're just taking it here to here, everybody else here, we go lift it up. Whew. So lifting the legs and the shoulders off. And then again, think big range of motion with legs. So we're squeezing in the glutes as we squeeze those hands behind and shoulders and then everything out nice and wide. <sighs> lifting it up. <sighs> Breathe, yes. Really strong lower backs and core. Also upper back and shoulders. <sighs> Breathe, 10 seconds, finish it out strong. We are almost done with this circuit. <sighs> yes, and relax, stretch it up, stretch it back. Whoo, cardio move, go tell it on the mountain climber. You can do it standing if you need to modify. If you can, keep it down here. <sighs> Ready, 45, tap it in or jog it in, join me. If you want a little variation, you can run it to the side, run it back to the center, run it to the side. Up to you, you can do the same thing if you're just tapping that. Remember, the further in we get the knees towards the chest, the more core we're gonna get. Stand if you're here. Whatever it looks like, as long as you're moving. Doesn't matter, we got 10 seconds team. Make it good. This is the end of that third circuit. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Ha. Whoo. Catch your breath. Quick sip of water. Good work, team. Ha. All right. So, <clears throat> obviously, there's time left on the clock, right? Uh, how about we do one more jingle bell swing because, you know, it's nice to get three sets of swings. Whatever you got, guys, <clears throat> we'll keep it a little shorter this time. No timed interval. Just grab that kettlebell or your dumbbells, either skier or one in the center. Remember, you can always take it with just that hinge if you want. Ah, I'm going to go heavier, right? Let's go for it. It's the end of the workout. All right, jingle bell swing. One more time, shoulders back, hinge it. Ready, here we go. Take it up. Yes, lots of power, use the glutes. Think of it using the power. It's like a pendulum swinging. Let it swing, power it up, power it up. Your arms are not doing the work, it's back loaded. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Lock it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Good work. 
I think we still got time for a bonus move, right? Ha <laughs> ha. All right, guys. Whew. Go ahead. Grab one dumbbell or kettlebell if you got it. Or no weights. I'm going to go a little lighter if that gives you any idea. All right. Woo. I got my hair tangled in my antlers. All right. Toy soldier. So if you want, you can just be here. Up. Kick those legs out. If you want to add a squat or a lunge with it, you can. Any of those options will do. Let's get one last heart rate push. Arms, legs, core engaged. And we'll be glad it's not a burpee, right? Ready. Here we go. So just your kick, that feels too hard, push it out here, or squat it, yes, or lunge it, any will work. You pick your level, and again, hands can be here too, overhead squat, Woo, that's hard, yes, ha, so as long as you're moving, that's all that matters with this move because I gave you like 10 options, right? Finish it out strong. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Ha! Oh, good work, team. Catch your breath. I guess that's kind of always the rule with the bonus move, right? If we do one, just move your body because I usually give you several options and it's kind of crazy at the end. But that's my rule in general, right? Just keep moving. Oh, you did it, guys. Shake out those arms and legs. Let that heart rate come down. Ha! Oh, holiday hit. I hope you enjoyed my themed exercises. I had a lot more in my brain but some of them were kind of silly and didn't really work. Ha! So I tried to come up with something, uh, some sort of Santa move, but nothing was really working out. Santa doesn't move much, right? I mean, he does, he goes down the chimneys. That's hard work. Whew. Breathe. So lean into that hamstring. Ha! Take it here. And breathe. Ha! Hopefully you felt everything. We got legs, we got arms, we got back, we got core. And we got a lot of heart rate with that HIT training, right? Catch your breath, take it out nice and wide. Roll those shoulders. Of course, make sure you check out the links in the description below. I'll make sure I add them. If you're looking for a structured program, my ebooks, my programs, or my nutrition guide. Also, guys, we got some big stuff coming up in January. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Bring your hands down in front, chin to your chest, and breathe. And of course, please make sure that you like and subscribe. When you subscribe to my channel, that helps me keep making completely free workouts for you here on YouTube. So, Please subscribe. You can turn on those notifications and it will let you know when I'm doing a live workout, when I, oh, I can't even get behind my head because of these antlers, <laughs> or when I release a new workout or when I have a challenge coming up. So whew, make sure that you subscribe. That helps me out a lot, guys, and helps you also stay accountable, right? Let's take our fingertips down. Let our head drop to the side. I uh, hope you feel good, especially after a busy holiday season, probably less busy this year than others, but still whew, feels good to get moving, right? Other side, let your head drop. Uh, thank you for showing up today, moving with me, being where you are today. One big deep breath in and out. Whew, you did it. That was your holiday hit workout. Great job, everybody. How do you feel? Good, I hope. I hope that was fun. I hope that I didn't feel as much like a workout because it was kind of silly, but I hope it still felt like a workout and you felt everything working. Let me grab my computer here and we're gonna say hi. 
see who joined us today. Um, hey, Jen. Hey, Kathy. Um, let's see. Catherine, Emma. Ha! For a Santa move, you could have a chair pose with alternating arm rows. That is right. I should have done that. Yay. Hey, Rebecca. Yes. I can't believe my antlers stayed on either. I think it was the headband. I think that probably helped. So, oh, Emily, you may not be a Pinterest mom, but I'm a creative coach. Thank you. Oh, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me making Christmas cookies with my kids. It was a huge mess, which I guess it always is, but um, they still tasted really good. They just didn't look as pretty as we see on Pinterest, but that's okay. That's me. Awesome. <laughs> Becky says she ate Christmas chocolate during the warm up. Yep, you burned it off. Don't worry. We're not worried about that. Oh, Charlotte, yes, the mountain climbers were, were like Santa coming down the chimney. Hey, Melanie, so glad you're here. Yay, Costa Rica. 23 weeks pregnant from Canada. Awesome. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Barbara from New York, where she's freezing. Awesome, guys. Stacy. Oh, so many of you here. Oh my gosh, this is making me so happy. Um, also, my dad and my stepmom and my brother and his wife were doing it. So hi, guys. That's who my kids were saying. They, they do it a lot, but um, that's who my kids were saying hi to. Oh my gosh, yay. <laughs> hey, Anna. Hey, Jen. Awesome, guys. Thank you for showing up. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, Megan, you have a one and a two-year-old. Woo, Christmas was crazy. Yes, my house too. And we have a million Legos and parts of things all over our floor. Um, let's see, Amy is asking, should a person be worried about using heavier than 10 or 15 pound weights? The, the answer is, is it easy for you? If you, if 10 and 15 is getting easy for you, then yes, try to go higher if you can. I know it's still kind of hard to find workout equipment in the stores. I know a lot of you guys got stuff for Christmas, which makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, if it's still challenging for you, then it's great. Um, and there are different ways to mix up your, your variety and your um, variables, which is why, you know, when we do body weight workouts and things like that, also using different equipment, but if it's still challenging for you, that's fine. If it's not, time to step it up. Let's see. Oh, Emily, how do you keep your back on the ground during the snow angels? Oh, oh, hey, Jen. Yay, I'm so glad. Yes. Um, okay, so guys, this, this goes for all of your core. I know you hear me talk about pulling your deep core in, but what we want, and we talk about this in Pilates and in you know postnatal core, is we want a neutral spine. So it means that you're not arched this way, but you're not pulling in so much that you're curved this way. So everybody's spine has a natural curve. So that's kind of what you want. You just want to make sure if you feel like you're arching, you want to readjust. Things to think about are that deep core. So pulling, when I say knit that core together or zip it up, a good cue is to think that your hips are coming towards each other. That I think is easier than trying to keep your back down. But if you think about bringing your hips in and you can practice, practice in this tabletop position, the snow angel was actually a really hard move. That's why you don't see me do that move in regular workouts. It just happened to be a good themed workout move. But it's hard to hold that, especially for 45 seconds. So don't worry too much about that. Um, oh, Chelsea had to rest. Oh, I'm glad that you were here and that you were able to modify. You can always modify. Just show up, guys. Um, Ashley wants to know, aside from HIIT training and weight training, do you work out in any weekly traditional cardio? The answer is no. <laughs> I mean, I am chasing my kids around. I get outside with my kids a lot because we have good weather. Um, and we, we take walks in the stroller and we live with a lot of hills. But other than that, no, I loved running. I used to be a runner for many years before kids. Um, but because I'm actually trying to film a lot these days to get a lot of new content for you guys, if you've noticed the last month or so, we've tried to put three workouts out a week. So because of that, that's pretty much all I'm doing. And I'm doing a lot of workouts like this. As you guys know, most of the workouts on my channel are like this. And you're going to get your cardio in with your strength training. So that's where I get my cardio. Or I, you know, I released a cardio fusion workout last week that has some strength in it, but it's mostly cardio, that kind of stuff. But other than that, um, I mean, I love it when the gyms were open and I used to work at a gym, I would go to cycle classes or I would, you know, occasionally get, um, I have a Bowflex Max trainer, which I really like, but I don't get on it nearly enough, um, but I do. So the answer right now is not really, I'm just doing these type of workouts and I'm getting my cardio in that way. So you can do it. 
Nothing wrong with getting separate cardio days. I program them in a lot of my programs, but in terms of what I'm doing right now, it's more of a time thing, so. Um, heavy kettlebell workout video. Yes, you're right, I should make that. Um, oh my gosh, Jennifer, mama of four, you're amazing. Yes, you got in shape for skiing, Jackie in Vancouver. Becky, you get tight under your chin and core work. That's normal because sometimes we clench. So I want you to tuck it, but also keep your eyes up. And also it's like everything else. If you feel tight, take a little break and release it. We also tend to hold our tension here, right? Or maybe you're like me and you're a teeth clencher at night or you know that kind of stuff. So really pay attention to that and try to release that. Um, do I ever do overhead pressing, Bob? So yeah, I mean, you see me do it. We, we do uh, shoulder presses or things like that. Um, you know, it just depends. I feel like I program it in a lot of workouts like that squat and press we did the tree topper. But um, in terms of just an isolated overhead press, I don't do a ton of that but it's more because these type of workouts move a little quicker. And I think you really need support for that. You either need to have perfect form or you need to be sitting on a bench where you can keep your back in alignment. So that's kind of the reason why it is an underrated rep, um, exercise or not a popular exercise, but it is a value, especially if you're trying to get stronger. So, all right guys, hey Molly, let's see who did I miss? I love that so many of you guys showed up today. This is amazing. It looks like we had almost 400 people yay christmas in sweden who did i miss i just want to make sure i said hi to everybody so many of my regulars so glad that you are here awesome well happy holidays everybody hey molly hey emily who loves trx oh pelvic floor postpartum pelvic floor strengthening Listen, go back to the postnatal core workouts. It's all pelvic floor and the diastasis recti workouts that I have. I have a whole playlist for those. Um, that's all pelvic floor strengthening, connecting with the deep core. You will get there. So don't worry. I know a lot of us mamas have had that same thing when we sneeze, when we jump, but you can strengthen that through your deep core work, through your pelvic floor work. So check out, even if you didn't have ab separation, check out the diastasis recti videos. Oh, you're right. Thank you for reminding me what's coming in January. <laughs> so be on the lookout, guys. If you are not signed up for my newsletter, I'll put the link in the description here. Make sure you're signed up so you are the first to know. We have a few different things coming. We have January Jumpstart, which is a challenge. This is going to be all through January. You're going to get workouts. You're going to get meal plans. You're going to get personalized fitness advice from me, nutrition advice from Vivian, who is our body fit nutrition director and registered dietitian. And you're going to get support through a Facebook group. And then we have the Body Fit Athletic Club, which is going to be the ongoing version of the group, right? Getting accountability, getting support, and again, getting personalized professional advice from myself and Vivian. So we are still <clears throat> getting all of that together on the website. So you will get an email if you're on the newsletter. And also I'll be putting that here on YouTube and on my social media. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you're subscribed to my newsletter and you follow me on social media. So you are the first to know it will be coming up next week, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be getting this body fit community together to support each other. And then also just a way for myself and Vivian to connect with you guys on a much more personal level. Um, so you can get uh, more help in your fitness and health journey because that is what we are here for. So get excited about that. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you guys so, so much. I will see you on next Saturday. And if you wanna join me this Monday on the Bowflex YouTube channel, I'll also be doing a live dumbbell workout there at 8 a.m. Pacific time this coming Monday. Thank you for showing up. Happy holidays, everybody. This was fun. Thank you for joining me. I will see you soon.